Here's some cool things you can do in the classroom using just a Google account, roller coaster style. Using Google Maps, you could have your students plan a road trip from Columbus to Denver with a stop at the Chicago Art Museum along the way. Then they could save their Google Map to get it back later. Customize it. Even change the icons by clicking on the icon, picking a new one, or you can even add your own icons. You can also collaborate and let the students edit each other's maps or work in groups together. Google Finance is another often overlooked tool. Did you know you could have your students make a portfolio for a math class or a business or accounting class? Give them some cash, let them buy some stocks of their own choosing, they could do the research on the companies, then they could do the math and see how much they've gained or lost. Then they could even download the spreadsheet. In Google Docs, there's all kinds of great things you can do. One of my favorites is you can collaborate in real time. Now there's two students working inside the same document at the same time. They each have their own colors so you know who's typing where. You can even chat along the side to describe what you're going to work on inside the document and who's responsible for what part of the assignment. Google Reader lets you subscribe to news feeds all over the web. Let's say you want to see how the Reds are doing this week. You want to look for the little RSS icon that looks like this. Once you find it, click on it, and you'll see a page that looks like this. Copy the URL, go back to Google Reader and add a subscription, paste it in, and there's all your Cincinnati Reds news. Maybe your student's blog, too. Subscribe to their posts so you can get them all in one nice, neat little place. Click on their subscription, copy their URL, go back to Google Reader again and add another subscription. There you go, your student's blog's all in one nice little place. Google Images is great for finding other people's images, but if you want to upload your own photos, use Google Photos. It's also called Picasa. You can create your own albums, kind of like categories, and drag and drop images right into the upload window. Now they're in the cloud. If you want to share this photo album with your friends, click on the Share Email button and send it right to them. Or you could copy the URL and put that link right on your Google site. Put in some text link it right to your album. Now it's on your website too. Did you know you can also edit those images right inside of Google Photos? Click on Edit in Picnic and it'll open up Picnic Editor, another Google product. You can adjust colors, add some text, do some rotating, or just do a simple crop. Click Save to My Album and now your album's updated with a new edited picture. Do you need a web page? Google Sites is a great way to get a website for teachers so they can share information with their students or for students to create a project site. Click on Create a Site, give it a name, then pick a theme, and just like that you have your own website. So what can you do with your new website? Well, add pages, and then on those pages put in content like text and links to assignments or images that you think are relevant to the class. You can even add what's called a file cabinet page so that those with access can upload any kind of file. Could be PDFs or Word documents, anything you think should be shared between the students or the teacher and the students. You can even add administrators so that it's not just the lucky one with the password that can edit it. Anybody in the group can edit it now. Well, that concludes our tour. Happy Googling!